You went to the record store? What did you buy? Yeah, what did you buy? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, time for a review B.O.B. Bob, Bobby Ray, Strange Clouds. This guy is an Atlanta rapper, producer, and singer, and this is his official full-length follow-up to the 2010 album The Adventures of Bobby Ray, which was a huge introduction for him. Went to number one in the U.S., sold gold, had a really big Bruno Mars featured single with the track Nothing On You. And on this album, Bob really built himself up to be a really versatile artist who kind of reaches across genres. And this kind of played out in the features that he got all over his debut album with Bruno Mars, Lupe Fiasco, Janelle Monet, Rivers Cuomo of Weezer, Haley Williams from Paramore and Eminem. And Bob continues that trend on this new LP with a really diverse set of features coming from T.I., Chris Brown, Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift. Even Morgan Freeman does this really dramatic monologue to open up the album. The array of artists this guy attracts is really impressive, but you know, the thing is, the, the music to me is not. The 15 tracks on this new album pretty much add up to a lowest common denominator pop rap album that does not really focus on anything except just trying to create a load of carbon copy tracks, tracks that follow the blueprint that usually gets songs played in heavy rotation on pop and hip hop crossover radio stations. Nearly every track here kind of has its own little modern radio pop motif that it appeals to. The track So Hard to Breathe has these really vague notions of, of being drowned in the pressures of life with this bursting rock chorus singing, it's so hard to breathe. There's a track on here with a Taylor Swift chorus, acoustic guitar in the background. Not a bad song at all, but Bob kind of goes in rapping on this track asking, sincerely, I think why people are so greedy, why they're so shallow. Good question. Question worth exploring, but a question that kind of baffles me because Bob will kind of turn around and, and do a track where he's talking about popping bottles or a pretty girl or money or cars. There is a little Wayne feature on here with a lot of corny punchlines coming in left and right, and to kind of further that Young Money brand, Nicki Minaj comes in on a track on this LP as well, a song where Bob is going crazy, and the mantra seems to be out of my mind. Him and Nicki kind of have fun with the track, and, and I do like the very wobbly beat on the song. It's It's got a weird groove to it that I think is pretty interesting. And a lot of the other tracks on here just kind of have okay hip-hop beats, but then we'll kind of shift gears into a very bright pop or R&B chorus. Tracks like Castles, Just a Sign, or Chandelier, where <laughs> the hook is like, my heart keeps pumping, heart keeps beating, shining like a chandelier. But I like Bob's positive attitude and his fast flow on the track. There's a lot of personality there, sincerity, I, I thought. Outside of some corny punchlines and some corny hooks, I don't really take a lot away from Bob as a rapper because he has a great flow for the most part. Art, art, art. I just don't like how this album consistently doles out one spoonful of sugar after another, after another after another. I seriously don't like my coffee or much of anything that sweet. To kind of make matters worse, Bob will do a track that kind of throws out a vague love song story, like on the track Circles. One of the more personal songs on this album, though, that I did think was great was The Closer. Where are you? Bob versus Bobby Ray, where he raps from the standpoint of an angry fan who kind of perceives him as selling out, sounding different, losing touch with his family. It's, you know, it's, it's a good song, but the thing is, I, I guess, 
Eminem totally did something like this better <laughs> with Stan, for sure. That, that, that. Because everything on here feels so formulated for wide consumption, the overall taste of this album is just really, really mild. And, you know, that's Bobby's goal. This album pretty much does everything in its power to avoid anything, lyrically, musically, that will require a second listen to understand. Pretty much what Bob does on this album is use the colors normally found in mainstream pop rap today, and then just kind of uses them to paint a portrait of himself. And I do feel like it's easy to kind of sit here, considering the kind of music I usually review and usually enjoy, point at this and then say, ooh, this is mainstream, ooh, this sucks, ooh. But really I didn't find too much on this album that I hated or just enraged me. So to me this thing is just kind of really middle of the road, just middle of the road. So I'm kind of feeling a strong four to a light five on this thing. What did you guys think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Anthony Fantano, B.O.B., forever.